Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and rare scenario in U.S. politics. What happens if there's a tie in the Electoral College? Stick around to find out how the House and Senate could end up choosing different leaders for the country. All right, let's set the stage. Imagine it's election night, and both the Democratic and Republican candidates end up with exactly 269 electoral votes each. Yep, that's a tie. Now, you might be wondering, what happens next? Well, according to the U.S. Constitution, the decision moves to Congress. But here's where it gets really interesting. In the event of a tie, the House of Representatives steps in to choose the president. But they don't just do a simple majority vote. Instead, each state delegation gets one vote. That means all the representatives from a state must agree on who to support, and their decision counts as one vote for that state. There are 50 states, so a candidate needs at least 26 votes to win. Currently, there are 27 states with the majority of Republican representatives. So, in this scenario, it's likely that these 27 states would vote for Donald Trump, making him the president. Now, let's talk about the vice president. The Senate is in charge of this decision, and each senator gets one vote. It's a straightforward majority vote, so a candidate needs at least 51 votes to win. Right now, the Senate has a Democratic majority with 51 senators. So, they would likely choose the Democratic candidate, Kamala Harris, as vice president. So, what's the final result? If the House picks Donald Trump as president and the Senate picks Kamala Harris as vice president, the United States would have leaders from two different parties. This situation highlights the unique checks and balances within the U.S. political system, where both the House and Senate play crucial roles in resolving an electoral college tie. And there you have it a deep dive into what happens if there's an electoral college tie. If you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more insights into the world of politics. Drop a comment below on what you think about this scenario. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.